the Lord sent thunder and hail and the fire. Uh, the process of getting salvation maybe compared to the process of spiritual battle. So Moses was commanded to wage spiritual war, spiritual warfare. The Lord sent thunder and hail and the fire. Uh, this kind of things we cannot manage, we cannot produce. Human being can't do anything. But, but frequently we say, our oh, Father in heaven, Is there something wrong? Your father is in heaven. You are on earth. <laughs> hmm? And then, the, any moment we are confronting the worldly problem, many human beings say, uh, we can't do anything because we are mere human beings. But our Lord, Jesus, our Lord, Jehovah, encouraging us, stretch forth your hand toward heaven. Can okay, repeat that to me? Stretch forth thine hand toward heaven. One more time. Stretch forth thine hand toward heaven. Expecting the hail will come down over the enemies of Christians. And in the middle, Moses stretched forth his rod toward the heaven. In this way, just holding, holding his step, and then stretch out. And the Lord set thunder and hail, and the fire ran along the ground, and the Lord rained the hail upon the land of Egypt. Okay? Stretch forth thy hand toward heaven with this rod in it. The following place would come from heaven. That is air from God who dwells in heaven of heavens. Uh, this passage reminds us of uh, something we can do, something we can expect, something we must experience. So, if you confess that there's a heavenly Father in heaven, but it is, He is invisible, huh? But you wish to believe in. But the Lord encouraged Moses to practice your faith. If you believe that there in heaven is a kingdom, eternal kingdom, there is a for your father who created the whole universe, practice it. Try to apply your faith in your prayer. Try to apply his presence, his wisdom, his power on earth. So uh, that's it. What is different between the one who has, a, who has a good faith in God than the one who has poor faith in God? What's the meaning of the good Christian? He's the one who practice, who apply a spiritual wisdom. I encourage you, use your faith. Use your faith in controlling troubles. Next one. The cattle seem to have been sent out to graze, which is from January to April, when pasturage can be obtained. Now, according to the cattle were in the field. So, from January to April, it, it could be considered springtime, flower blooming season in Israel. The earlier rain shower start the last week of, last week of uh, 
last week of October. Last week of October, the, the Lord began to send the rain shower so that farmers till the ground and scatter the seed. So, uh, from the first week of November, from the first week of November, green sprout is coming out. So green grasses are growing. But you see the snowball, hailstone, the size of the hailstone is like a feast a human being. If it is attacked against you, then you are destroyed. It was the more appalling because hailstones in Egypt are small. Lightning also is scarcely ever known to produce fatal effect. Uh, is there anyone who ever experienced hailstone? Yes. Raise up your hand. Hailstone. In Korea? In the Philippines. In the Philippines? In the Philippines? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you grew up in the mountain area. Yes. How big was it? Uh, like ammonia? Like this? Small. Not really small, but hemophilus is big. Size of beans. Yeah. When the hailstones dash to the window shield of the car, it is, kept, it is shattered, very strong. Um, but the, I must tell my own story. When I was six years young boy, uh, I was elected among five children, I was elected among five children to accompany my mother to travel up to uh, Seoul city. I was living in Iksan. At the time, uh, usually I, we took a ride train. It takes around five hours or six hours from my province of Seoul City. And I, I wish to experience training, uh, training locomotives, locomotives, the engine system of the locomotives. I experienced for the first time. As the train approaching to the platform, I was scared by very big sound. The moving of the, the locomotive engine is very scaring, making sound. Its color is black. Sound is I was scared. I suddenly began to run away from the train. Because of me, the locomotive driver, conductor, embarrassed because I kept running away from the train. <laughs> My mother kept, kept calling me, don't be afraid of, but I got scared already. It's okay, come back, come back. But I got, I really pray. That's why the train conductor had to wait my returning. All passengers kept looking at me. So I became a coward, coward one, coward boy. And then, uh, while I was living in Philippines, Yes, what made me scared? What made me scared? Similar one. Uh, whenever rain shower about to hit, there's a, I heard thunderstorm, sound of thunderbolt. The sound of thunderbolt in Korea, not so, that was scary, but the sound of the Thunderbolt in Philippines, I, I, I think five times larger, five times bigger than that of Korea. 
Whenever the, I hear the sound of thunderbolt, vroom, quang, it's, it's, it's very similar to uh, 105 millimeter cannonball. Cannonball sh shooting 105 millimeter, caliber 105 millimeter. Then all surrounding people scared because sound of the shooting the bomb is very big, very big. So I found that I'm very fearful. I'm scared by big sound. Okay, uh, because of scaring big sound, Filipino Christian becoming more prayerful. Okay, next one. Uh, this is the ordinary farmland in Egypt. Well, let us read together. Let it go. From the whole heaven, all over the land of Egypt, which shows it to be an unusual and extraordinary hail, for a hailstorm seldom reaches far a mile it may be, but never was such a one heard of as reached you through whole country and so large a one as Egypt. Upon every herb of the field throughout the land of Egypt it should fall so thick that scarce on herb would escape it. The hail that smote man and beast in the field destroyed the vegetables and sh shattered the trees. Okay, next. Okay, let us take the continue. Ready go. The fire ran along upon the ground. Hebrew fire walked eastward, indicating an excessive electrical disturbance involving great peril to life and poverty. Property. Next, the Lord sent thunder with lightning and hail, and the fire ran along upon the ground, which struck their flock. And hail, which fell so thick and weighty as to destroy both men and cattle, the spoil, the corn, the grass, and the tender herb. Thunder is a common accompaniment of a hailstone. Some very peculiar electrical display seems to be intended where the electric fluid does not mere flash momentarily but remains for several seconds before it disappears. Okay, uh, have you watched that kind of scaring scene? Thunderbolt? Uh, Superficially, we got scared by that kind of scene. And that's the time we may repent from the simplest. But God has a purpose. Whenever God allowed that kind of scaring, the power, but something is happened. Uh, in Germany, there's a famous reformist what is his name in German, Germany? Reformist. He was a priest in Roman Catholic, but he became a reformist because he was against 99 articles, unbiblical articles. Hmm? Martin Luther. Hmm. Martin Luther. Luther. He became a, a Lutheran, the founder of Lutheran Church in Germany. One day he was walking, he was, he was walking with his best friend, walking through the field. And suddenly he, they got caught by thunderstorm. Then they hurried together to run under the big tree. 
they were protected by big tree, pretty shade. Then they heard the, the stick of the thunderbolt. Thunderbolt meant to move, touch his friend. His friend momentarily electrocuted, die. And then Martin Luther was alive. So the direction of thunderbolt, if it could be, it could be directed to any any material. Two possible, two person may be electrocuted, but. Martin Luther was saved. Martin Luther awakened. Ah, this is a human being. We do not know. We do not know in the future what may happen in the future. Tomorrow, after one hour, we do not know. Since then, he began to think, he became a deep Christian thinker. He began to pray. He began to read the Bible more devotionally. Now he became a theologian, seminarian. He became an ordained priest, Roman Catholic. Oh, that's it. So, Visibly, some mysterious things might happen to us. But Christian leaders must remember something is happened. Something is happened invisibly. So, in ancient time, even today, if someone got killed by thunderstorm, people say uh, he might have committed some grave sin. He, he might have made God angry so much. But that, that's a human speaking, human thinking. So because of the thunderbolt, Martin Luther became a devoted Christian leader. Okay, next one. Martin Luther. Uh, this is the flooded scene, Taiwan, I know. Not Taiwan. Taegu. Thailand. Hmm? Thailand. Thailand? Yes. Thailand? Near Myanmar, yes. Thailand, Thailand, Laos, Myanmar, India, frequently experience that kind of flood. Philippines also, yes. flood. I became immune Christian, who is not afraid of flood, because so many times, every rainy season, I experienced two or three times of the flooding. As you experience flood, that kind of flood is not so heavy. The whole house emerged, whole house disappeared because of flood. So today, I wish you to remember Something significant thing is going to happen. It might happen in me, it might happen in my family, it might happen among my community. One day I was visiting a neighboring church and then one deaconess began to Tell me about what happened in his, in her church community. There's a quarreling between uh, elder side church member and then 
senior pastor side church member. They were divided. They accused each other, quarrel each other. And then there was a notorious, notorious elder who all, always uh, making troubles against senior pastor. That's why senior pastor decided to stop ministry. He left church. And then the followers followed him and then they began to um, make their own worship, different worship place. And then in the mind of the people who, who, are, who are tired of the backbiting or accusing, maybe they might speak to God something and then God answered. One day, rice planting season, all community people gather together, rice, rice planting season. From time to time, while they are working rice planting, they are gathered together under the small side pavilion. There's a roof, there's a floor, then the people who are doing rice planting, they gather together. Usually, they enjoy eating lunch, eating a snack. While they are eating together, under the, the thunderstorm, thunderstorm hit the one of them. And then notorious deacon, notorious elder, got struck and he killed immediately. So since then, all troublemaker, all church members who belong to troublemaker, they began to recognize in this way. Ah, we, many times we, we, we do not know who is evil, who is wicked, and who is good. And God only knows. The one who was killed by thunderbolt, he was the one who made the trouble. So by that accident, all church members united by killing one troublemaker. So in that way, something is about to happen. So this summer season, rainy season, we are experiencing thunderbolts, the sound of thunderbolt, and then we must remember something is happening. God only knows something is happening. It's more than natural phenomena. God is the one who created everything on earth. And then God can control all phenomena. God is doing something. Now, we, our mind must turn toward the Lord. And then, even in the midst of some uh, thunderbolt, thunderstorm, God is doing His works to produce godly one, prayerful one. So, I wish you to have godly vision, godly hope. Even in the midst of thunderbolt, thunderstorm, Okay, I wish you to come to have prayer time. Acknowledge his work. Stretch out your both hands toward the throne of God so that you may experience what God is doing even today. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we are more than ordinary human being, you invite us and call us to become a spiritual children of you. Lord, I wish you glorified by our new commitment, by our prayer, acknowledging that 
you are sovereign. Your hands reach to all corners of the universe. May we experience your control, your ruling. And finally, we may glorify your name in whatever we are doing for your glory. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen.